once again. If you know, you know. Hello everyone. Today we are restarting our declutter series. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. This is like the first proper declutter we've done in this beauty room. My previous organizational videos were just that. They were organizing. When we shifted into this house, I, you know, set up the room, put all my makeup away and that's all we've done so far. And of course, with the amount of PR I get and everything, it's just built up. This declutter is seriously overdue and I am fizzing to get started because I cannot wait to just make this look so much more tidy. Also, I'm in my jammies. I'll link these below in case anyone wants to know where I got my pajamas from. It feels illegal to like wake up, have a shower and put your pajamas back on, but it's one of those days where outside it's miserable and it just felt appropriate. Today, we are doing all of our foundations, concealers, powders, and then all of our primers, setting sprays. Like I said, powders, but we've also got like under eye powders because now I am huge into like loose powders, brightening powders, all of those types of things. And we have so many to kind of organize. And I do want to reshuffle these drawers a little bit. You know, I've been in this house for a year and well actually technically over a year now and I've kind of figured out like what's working for me what's not working for me and I know that my old setup had you know each compartment for each different product and people loved that I loved it at the time too but honestly I thrive off the more just like chuck it in a tub situation I find myself using much more varied products on a day-to-day -day basis like when I'm just like playing with makeup but as you can see, it's a little bit overflowed. So we need to cut back and kind of start a little bit fresh, make room for this year's new releases and everything. I do lots and lots of foundation reviews and tutorials and all sorts of stuff. So I'm always buying new ones and there's just not a lot of space left. I'm gonna begin by emptying out everything. I think I'm going to get rid of this right here, which I love the idea. I mean, let's see, we'll see how we go. Um, this is like a spice rack under here if you remember my setup video and it's nice because it displays them so nicely but I'm thinking I'll probably replace it with another tub because I love the tubs but we'll see how we go like I said. This is going to be a savage declutter. I know you guys love my declutters because I actually declutter and most of these items that I'm decluttering today I'm probably going to end up giving to friends and family to use up. I can't really donate like really old used products some of these are probably expired as well so we'll just go through it sit back relax enjoy grab a snack grab a coffee i'm almost out and let's dive on in i think what i'm gonna do actually i was gonna take out everything but i might kind of do section by section with you guys i'll take them all out like we'll do powders first I'm going to transfer them into this bin um, and I'll filter them back in and talk to you guys. There are so many powders. We're probably going to find some more as well um, down here. <laughs> and I am considering kind of mixing up where my products are. I was thinking of putting primers and all of that down here with the foundations. And then up here having all of my powders, concealers, under eye powders and all of that. I'm not too sure yet. We'll just see how we go. I'm just going to like declutter first and then maybe we can reorganize afterwards. So first up we have some of the Maybelline Fit Me powders. I do actually really like these, but I don't reach for them. Like I said, we're being cutthroat today. The reality is as well, if you watch my videos, you know I don't use powder every single day anymore. I use them for my very glam looks or my first impressions. So I should probably get rid of any that, you know, I don't use all the time. I say that, but then I've barely used this, but I would like to use it some more. These are staying in my collection 100%. I absolutely love these powders. Technically, this shade, neutral, I use more like a bronzer. So I might move that to a different drawer. I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I just don't reach for it. All of these powders are in here for a reason because I like them by the way, but the fact of the matter is I've got like way too many. I'm never gonna use them and I can give them to friends and family. Bobbi Brown. I love these powders by She Glam. I think I'm just gonna keep a couple shades because I have five. <laughs> Buttercream and Bamboo. 
unpopular opinion, but like I like this. People literally say it changes their life. I've always liked it, but I feel like it's not that amazing, is it? I mean, it is good, but I kind of feel like I should keep it and like continue to just finish it. Oh, Too Faced. I really liked this, but I barely used that. So once again, declutter. I have another one of the L'Oreal, but this shade is called Ivory and it looks a little bit more pink. So I'll declutter that one. Oh my gosh, this CoverGirl powder was everything to me, but I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. I mean, I haven't seen anything about CoverGirl in a while now. Are they still around? What's going on, CoverGirl? Loved this, the Wall People, but once again, I don't use it. Also love, <laughs> how funny. I love like all of these, but they're really old and I don't reach for them. I've got that many Huda Beauty powders, so we'll go through all of those soon. Any MAC Studio Fix, despite these being quite old, like they're staying, because they're just my ride or die. My one size powders. I might keep the fair one for no fake tan, but this shade here, I'll declutter because I've got others in a similar shade. I love my glowish powders, but does anyone else feel like, like these are probably expired to be quite fair, but I feel like compared to when they were freshly open, like they're so oxidized, like in the pan. So I think these need to be actually thrown away. I feel like I need to try this some more, the Magic Powder Under Eye and Face from Charlotte Tilbury. Like I just feel wrong throwing away Charlotte Tilbury. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'll, you know, use that a bit more. We'll see how we go with it. It's survived one more round of declutters. Oh man, I love the fit cover, but I've got so many. I might keep them and maybe I will give this one to a friend. I really like this stuff. We have more glowish. See, so I feel like this one's a fresher one. It looks less oxidized in the pan. I think I'll keep these two. We have a Tarte Light Medium Sand Powder. I feel like I haven't used this very much, so I might keep that one. These are from Floresis. You guys saw them in one of my recent PR hauls. I haven't even touched this one. And then I think this one's translucent. The packaging is just beautiful. The names of them get me. Like they're called Airbrushed and Flawless. Maybe they can stay for now because I haven't even like really tried them properly yet. Milani. Oh, I remember really liking this too. Do I keep it as another drugstore option? Sure. I've got the Illuminating Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. This always just like scrapes by my declutters, but it is quite old now and I, I don't know what it is, but I still just neglect it. It looks really pretty in the powder form. It's got like a little sparkle to it. It's it's very pretty. Can I show you a close up? I don't even know if you'll be able to see. It just looks really pretty, like visually. It's like got a pink kind of undertone and it does have quite a sparkle. Like, it's almost like more of a highlighter. That's way more of a highlighter, isn't it? Maybe that's what it is. Actually, I think I vaguely remember using this on my face and being like, oh my God, it's so glittery. I'm pretty sure like, I just for some reason in my brain think that this is a powder, but it's a highlighter. <laughs> Let's put it in the highlighter drawer and we will reevaluate it later. Oh, I love this stuff. Makeup Store Wonder Powder in Sahara. Another brand I've not seen pop up on YouTube in literal years. Is it still going? Because Makeup Store products are incredible. I need to have a look online. But this is genuinely, I reckon I probably got this in maybe like 2014. Oh, that's so creepy. So what, this is like 10 years old? It needs to go. We've got the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass powder, which I purchased and barely have used. So I think I need to continue to give it some love. And because now I'm, I'm loving baking and stuff a little bit more since discovering my Ultra Soft Powder Puffs and everything, We'll, we'll give it another shot. This is Ciate. Have they shut down Ciate? Or am I thinking of a different brand? Okay, no, like, it looks like they're fine. <laughs> they post on Instagram every day. Regardless, it's another translucent powder and by the time I've got all of my Huda Beauty ones and the ones that I've kept here, I think we will declutter. My Nabla one, this one was actually really good as well, but we'll also declutter. I did love this Revolution powder as well, as far as loose powders go, but I've kept too many others. And then we have this Hello Kitty Kathy doll powder, which is just so dang cute. It's brand new. I don't think I've used it. I might give this to Sally because she loves Hello Kitty. Oh my goodness, that is all of the powders. <laughs> 
I'm quite proud of myself for that. That's a good effort. Literally like, am I gonna fit these in a smaller compartment? We've got some skincare back here. I think I'm gonna completely remove straight up skincare for now. I might either put it in a different spot or yeah, just remove it. Some of these are primers. That's primer, 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 primer. Then we have like sunscreen over here. All right, those are all the sunscreens gone. Now the reason I was just doing that quickly is because gonna start looking at all the powders I have. I like to have the powders and concealers like in the same place. Like I've just been liking that system. What else do we have? Those are like little compact foundations down here. Okay, I've pulled out all of my under eye like powders and I'm actually thinking of just popping them in the same container perhaps as like my other powders. Since I don't use face powder heavily, you know? Mm, I don't know. It's just, something's not vibing here. Let me see how the face powders fit in like this one. I can fit all of my pressed powders in one of these right here. We've got them all there, but then I've got like the mineral foundation and loose powders over there. But I mean, it kind of makes sense to have them by all of the um, like under eye powders anyway, because you know, sometimes you just use these loose powders like under your eyes or whatever. So I'm just gonna tidy all of these up and if I'm decluttering any, I'll just like fill you in because most of this I'm keeping because it's like just stuff I'm obsessed with and I really do switch up the products I'm using constantly under my eyes. But um, there are some things like this really, really, really old Kat Von D Locket brightening powder in Petal. This was like my go-to years ago. It was like when no one was doing under eye setting powders. It was a holy grail and then obviously the brand just got like stuffed up and you couldn't get any more. I don't think you can get any more. I loved it, but now there's so many good options out there. So it's time to move on. And likewise, my KKW Beauty Brightening Powder, I held on to this cause there was nothing like it. And now we have like all of these Huda Beauty ones, She Glam, like all these brands are doing brightening powders and I just feel like I can let go of it now. She can rest. I know these are probably good for like travel, these mini Huda Beauty ones, but like in reality, I don't really need those. Or do I put them in my like travel makeup bag and just leave them there? I don't know. I just feel like they don't need to be in this drawer because I've got the big ones and I'm always gonna reach for the big ones because not gonna lie, the small packaging is kind of annoying. Haven't even tried this yet. I'm so excited to, it's the pink Nikia Joy powder. Do I dare get rid of Summer Bisque? I actually feel like I do. This was my holy, holy grail for so long. If you know, you know. But I just feel like I don't reach for it anymore and it is quite old. Declutter, 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 declutter. I need to make room for this MAC powder in this little section here. I feel like I'm gonna, I keep a translucent one. Might get rid of the Floresis one that's tinted. Just cause I feel like it does look a little bit too pinky for me. On camera it doesn't look like it, but in real life, see how this one's a bit more like golden undertone. This matches me so, so well. So, there we go. Who is she? I always have like a hundred pressed powders, but you know, we're in a new time. And we do still have some room if I find more like under eye powders and things because I feel like I do have more somewhere. I don't know, we'll find out. We'll reshuffle all of this soon. 
Um, let's do setting sprays. I feel like that's gonna be easy because I don't have that many at the moment. I kind of have been using like the same ones and I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of new ones coming out. I'm gonna keep pretty fresh. I'm just gonna like pop them standing up over here while I like organize them. That's a skincare serum, which I absolutely love. It's almost empty. Mm, declutter this one. I love this, don't get me wrong. I actually love this, but um, it's really old and kind of smells bad. So these are the ones we're keeping. I might need to like put these in a smaller tray, but for now we'll just roll with it. Colourpop Pretty Fresh. Naked Sundays SPF 50 plus. The Milani Supercharged Facial Mist. I remember this smelling really good and it's fun to have like another drugstore option. I'm not sure if you can still get this one, but I just, I got rid of a lot of my setting sprays. So I wanted some variety. <laughs> one of my current favorites, the Tropical Breeze Makeup Fixer by Ofra. The e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. The Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. The Stay Spray by Tarte. A little size of the Dewy Set by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I never used to be like obsessed with this, but lately I've been enjoying it, so. This Glisten Up Illuminating Mist by 4-3 Beauty, which is like Colourpop. It's got shimmer in it, so I don't know, bit of fun. And I still... You know, I don't use this all the time. People love this, the glow recipe. I know Emco just bought out dupes of this too. So I'm kind of curious to try them. I don't know, I want to try this more. I've used it a little bit, you know. I don't hate it, but I don't know. I just feel like it's really aesthetic looking. Oh my God, who is she? It's so empty in here. Right, let's cull it down the primers. As you can see, the primers are kind of where we've got an issue happening. Like I won't even be able to shut this drawer right now because it's overflowing. So I'm just gonna rummage through and I will kind of declutter as I go and show you guys what I end up keeping. This belongs in the foundation drawer. I bought this and I just don't love it. Please tell me how Louis' hair even ends up in this top drawer in my beauty room, which this room he's barely ever in. loved this back in the day but I just don't reach for it anymore and do they still make this even who knows and you know what this is worth so much money but I don't reach for it so I'm going to give it to a friend to use hopefully it's still all good I mean it looks good texturally um, but it is pretty old but we'll we'll have a look at that I still want to use this some more the yummy skin like it does feel really good and technically it's like a primer. It's the um, Yummy Skin Glow Serum. It says to use under or alone, like under makeup or alone. Here's what we're left with over here. So I'm keeping Danessa Myricks. Basically anything glowy. I'm gonna keep this even though it's old because I feel like I can finish using this up. There's probably like a quarter left. I do love it. I'm loving this lately. Haven't used this enough. I need to use it some more. Loving this lately, the Laura Mercier like base products I've been really enjoying. I want to use this some more. And there's also like some dupes that I have in my drawer from I think Alf and Emco or who else was it? Anyways, I want to make sure I can compare. And then we've got the Alf Jelly Pop. I've got so much glow last. Actually, I'm kind of considering decluttering this because it's really old also. But I love this stuff. Like, I wore this on my wedding day. Mm, let's declutter it. I've got a lot of products and yeah, they're like pretty old. I need to just be for real. Like, I can't just keep everything. Um, I will, however, keep this. One Step Correct and Kitten. Loving this, the Elf Halo Glow. So you can see I'm keeping like all of these like Charlotte Tilbury dupes. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury one itself as well somewhere. Maybe we'll find it while we um, continue. But uh, the colors are all different. So, justified. Got this Danessa Myricks Prism FX, which I keep meaning to use more of. It reminds me of strobe cream. 
I want to finish this, the Rare Beauty one, I like that. And then I've got a couple of these ones which I really, really like too, like moisturizing and like pore filling. Like as far as pore filling goes, the Birthday Skin by She Glam is like my favorite one. And I don't go for those primers like all of the time. And I found I had like eight of them from different brands. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna use one, I'm probably gonna use my favorite one. So I've just kept the one. And a friendly reminder, Da, 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 da. PSA, broadcast, breaking news. I do this for a job. No one needs this much makeup. You guys do not need this much makeup, no one does. The reason I do is because I do constant reviews, first impressions, tutorials, showing you how to use products or trying them out. And I like to think when I'm trying out products and I'm letting you guys know my honest opinions, I'm either recommending a product that I believe in or I'm stopping you from wasting your money and buying something wastefully and then it just sits and rots in your drawer. So while I do have a lot of makeup, like obviously there's a reason it's my job, it's just part of it and I know people look at it and think it's just like so ridiculous. Of course it is, but remember I donate a lot of unused makeup. I also do giveaways with my community. And then, like I said, the stuff that's being kind of used a lot will pass on to friends and family to finish using up. Even my mum's gonna go like nuts, rummaging through and like grabbing herself some new stuff. Cause she always goes through stuff so quickly. I don't know what she's doing with it. Look at that drawer. Like, I'm sorry, if you rewind to the before, that is a crazy difference. Genuinely, I <laughs> am so proud of myself. If you need a little reminder, that's the before and this is what we're left with. I genuinely feel like we got rid of over half. So we'll leave it like this for now, guys. Move along to the drawer below. And um, after that, I think I might do some reshuffling maybe. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Oh, here we go. See, so straight away we find my Hollywood Flawless Filter, which I'm also gonna keep because it is the OG and I do love her, but there's so many dupes. There. Whoa, I did not mean for that to happen. It just like rolled off my hand. Um, there's so many dupes now, but I mean, I still love her so much. Now foundations, we are going to get ruthless. Okay, I'm getting rid of so many. Literally, I want to only have a handful left over. Currently, the foundations, like these are foundations. These are all foundations. And in both of these tubs, foundation, foundation, foundation. Plus obviously baby creams and skin tints and all of that kind of stuff thrown in there. And there's more. And I've got more new ones in my new stuff drawer. Yes, I have a new stuff drawer. And yes, we will be decluttering it at some stage. I just thought this was like a really good drawer to kind of get kick started with with my series because it is gonna be so satisfying. Right, what I'm gonna do so you can see clearly what I'm decluttering. This is the decluttering little tray for now just so that I can whip through this and then yeah I'll go over what I've kept afterwards. My hair, I'm finding like hairs everywhere. I don't know what the difference between all of the um Clio cushions are. Look in reality I only need to keep like one of these because I typically don't go for cushion foundations but these are so good. The Clio ones are bomb. This looks like a paler shade. I might just put this in my new stuff drawer and we can try it in a video because I feel like it is actually different. I feel like all of these are different. And this is like a backup for this. I don't know. I'll declutter the Jenny house one. I'm gonna put all of those aside and we'll put this back in the drawer at some stage. But I think I'm going to declutter most of these cushions. Anyways, these are just really old. Just kept two of my favorite shades of that. I always buy these like stick foundations thinking that I'm gonna use them and love them and then I neglect them. But then I like have a hard time getting rid of them because I'm like, I love NARS. Like maybe I will love this. Should I keep it in an effort to like use it some more? If I keep this though, I need to like get rid of these. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I really thought I would just pop in here and like get rid of everything. Now heaps of these are literal favorites so don't think because I'm getting rid of them that they're bad. Like the reason I'm getting rid of these two for example because they're so 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 old. I've had them in my collection for probably like six seven eight years like I'm not even joking at this point. Time has like just erupted. I don't know where it's gone. Um, I feel like I bought these two years ago but no it's been 
it's been too long. We need to get rid of some stuff. I don't know, I might have to like go through these a few times until I figure out what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. This one's handy. This one says to me it's expired, the Kosas. It expired in January. Okay, so far, you know, we've made a decent declutter effort. Are these old? I feel like these are old. Ugh. But I do want to do a full face of Huda Beauty. I've been putting that on my list. Oh, for now. This is like low-key tearing me apart right now because I'm literally throwing away so many things that I really like. I'll be for real, I love this stuff, but it's so, so old. This is old too, but I used it the other day and it was still all good. She's gonna survive another day, only because in that video the other day that I tried, you know, mixing these together. Actually, I don't know if the video's up yet. It's either my previous video or my next video because I'm pre-filming a little bit because we're just going away for the weekend. I tried mixing these together and it worked out well. It lasted well. That's the only reason she's staying. these did I even use it I feel like maybe I used them once in a video I love this but it's kind of old now too and this I loved this but it's beautiful for now this is staying any day of the week technically this is bronzer yes 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 Once again, if you know you know comment below some pink emojis if you're a real one but Kisses for you. It's time to move on. <laughs> I feel like my heart is breaking. I loved this. I need to buy some new Nabla. I really do. I just need to empty the declutters pile because it's starting to like topple. I do really like this stuff too. This is good but old. Tinted moisture. I just, I don't get the hype over the tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier for the most part. I mean, it's good but. I don't know. Oh, I've got two shades in this. I didn't even know that. Declutter. I have filled up an entire box with declutters. And not just any box, a massive box that used to have 64 nappies in it. I don't know, I'll show you after. <laughs> okay, so, i just wipe this. As you can see, the um, setup has stayed pretty clean considering you know it's makeup and liquids that's pretty good not too much dust or anything it's actually much easier to keep this system clean than my old system because the old system was amazing but it was like made out of wooden stuff whereas these are like obviously what is this like acrylic trays or whatever so they're so much easier to wipe and clean so that's really nice and like hair doesn't get all stuck on them like my old setup oh I just pulled this out too by the way this bobby brown oh yes it is a, it's a stick but it's like I remember getting this in a darker color to kind of bronze with. That's amazing. I've literally got rid of so many. So I'll organize them now. Don't really know how I'm gonna organize this space. Is this the same size as this? No. Well, I feel like I'm moving all of these. Oh, there's more foundations in here too. Let's move this out of the way, the concealers. We'll declutter those in a second. And I think for now we'll pop all of our foundations in here because it's like a bigger space. Is that smart? I don't know. Or do I have primers and setting sprays all in like one and then foundation, foundation, foundation and keep the rack? I don't know what to do. To be honest though, I feel like I need to rotate this because, hold on. Basically, I never look at this rack and I feel like I need to put the rack closer to me. I sit over here and I need to put the rack here. Now this is a spice rack, but I just thought it would be cute to like have my foundations on. And yeah, it is cute, but also I had too many. 
I'm gonna roll with it for now. We'll keep it for another day. <laughs> another declutter. It kind of works because those are like all of my um circular <laughs> Foundations. And I've got so much space for foundations now and it kind of annoys me that I've lost some of the lids. I don't know where the lids go. I've got like a little lid goblin. So maybe tints BB creams in one. I'm gonna steal the lid off this and declutter one of these shades. Now, if you're asking, why, Shannon, have you kept this one and this one and some random ones? I don't know, okay? I decluttered so many and I just kept a couple of random, like, ones that I haven't used that much that I know I like or, like, kept a couple that are drugstore or whatever. Like, I kept the Wet n Wild. I kept a Maybelline one. I had all these, like, L'Oreal ones and things that I liked, but I was like, oh, I just need to, like, commit to just a couple because, let's be real, I will be using new foundations, you know? I'll be trying new ones throughout the year and all that's gonna happen is I'm not gonna use any of these. Like, to be honest. I know the packaging of the NARS is just disastrous. It's spilt in my makeup bag once and it's just stayed like that ever since. Can I stand that up? Like, can I, oh I can. Hell yeah. I know the light's on that so it's like, oh, how can I? <laughs> Hard to see. Look at that. Pop off, Shan. Let's move setting sprays and primers. Oh, this is so heavy. We'll just pop all of these concealers in here for now until we declutter them in a second. So I thought, yeah, I'd put all of these closer so that I reach for them more because I'm gonna reach over here for primers and things anyway. Okay, but now what about setting sprays? It's looking so beautiful, guys. Do I just put setting sprays back up here? Because in reality, like I've got heaps of space in this top drawer now. Maybe I just, let's just do that. I feel like I could have such a smaller tray for all of these, but at the same time, like that's fine. There's room for growth. I feel like this is old. Do I need to get rid of this? I don't want to. Maybe I will though. I'll try it in the next few days and if it's, old vibes I will um get rid of it because yeah I've had that for a while now I'm thinking the foundation stick needs to just be put in here as well and can this fit somewhere oh okay you can't see it really but I can fit it in the back and then maybe with the primers I'll have one moisturizer I like and one sunscreen this sunscreen is called the pore screen by Gemologica and technically it's got like a hint of a tint and it's blurring. So it's kind of like a primer. Like it literally says wear it alone or underneath makeup, so. And then my other sunscreens can go in another drawer. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got one more section to declutter and that is all of the concealers. So there's concealers, correctors, and as you can see, a lot of tools in here which need to be cleaned. So I think first I'm just gonna like take out some of the um, dirty tools. They need a wash. But you know what? Maybe even this section could be good for tools. To like separate it a little bit. Because I like to just chuck my tools in with my concealers. It makes it really convenient. Like that one's caked in makeup. Some of these are technically like still kind of dirty, but <laughs> okay, once again, we'll do this method where I'm just gonna like, I don't know, declutter as I go. Actually, I'll plonk stuff in here as well that I'm keeping because there's just so much happening. Oh, I love this, but it's old. Oh my God, my holy grail, dude. That's old as well. Do I even like this? I feel like I haven't used it enough. This is a primer. <laughs> Some stuff like I just don't know. We'll keep it for now. I really liked this, but I just feel like I prefer the Huda Beauty ones. It's 
so many of these products I love but um it's just time to you know move on and clear them out as of the age now if you're wondering I'm not sure how often I am going to be uploading declutters like I might try to do one once a month or so like don't want to overwhelm people with too many at once do you know what I mean um, and I also just want to film them whenever I'm motivated to film them do you know what I mean but it is obviously a series like we're gonna be regularly, regularly, I feel like I just stuttered. We'll be doing it on a regular basis because I just love the feeling of feeling fresh. It's funny because you'd think looking at my beauty room that I love to collect things and like have clutter and stuff, but I really don't. I love like throwing things away. <laughs> Not literally throwing things away, but do you know what I mean? But my beauty room is always different because obviously this is like work supplies essentially it's like a builder with his tools and it's like a fashion editor with all their clothes and shoes and accessories like options are important and things you know so we'll see how this setup goes and if I don't like it I'll just reshuffle it in another video wait maybe I should declutter these because like that's like the new formula right So quick overview, we've got setting sprays over here, um, we've got my under eye powders including some favourites like my She Glam, Dominique Cosmetics, Huda Beauty, we've got concealers featuring some of my current favourites such as like the Natasha Denona, the Kylie, the new Huda Beauty range, some tools here, all of my favourite powders and some newer ones to continue to try foundation some old favorites I could honestly get rid of another half of these but I don't want to right now <laughs> because I still want options but yeah I'm looking at these like I could literally get rid of like another whole tray full but for now it just fits so nicely nice variety whatever um so foundations primers some other you know cushion compact type ones gorgeous that difference is crazy and once again if you forgot what those foundations look like before such a declutter oh we've got this primer too i'll keep them for now and by the way in case you're wondering this is the box i have filled i can't move my camera properly because ugh, it's plugged in this is the box size same box like huge box and it is full to the brim so i feel like i did a really good job thank you guys so much for watching today's declutter and i really hope that you enjoyed it i seriously get so many compliments on these videos people love them request them re-watch them and it makes me so happy because i love the process of actually doing this as well thank you for all of your support and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you're wondering what my next declutter is going to be in a couple of weeks, it is probably going to be bronzers, highlighters, and maybe blush. I might do all three at once. Bye. Bye.